The bankruptcies of Chrysler and General Motors have dominated the news recently, and now a man who was a general foreman at one of the big three has a new book talking about that. And he writes that he's only surprised it took this long for at least two of the big three to collapse, not because of today's economic problems, but because of the way the car company's management behaved for many years. Bob Dewar is here to tell us about his book. It's called A Savage Factory, and we welcome you. Thanks for coming in here now. You, you talk about the fact that this has been going on for years. You think it's, it can't just be blamed on high gas prices or the current economic problems? Absolutely not. It can be blamed on the quality of the cars that we produced in the 70s and 80s when we made the lowest quality cars in the world. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, 33 states passed lemon laws to mm-hmm. protect people against the big, uh, the big three, uh, back in the seventies and eighties. Okay, let's talk about that because you had predicted thirty years before this came that this was going to happen. You say it was, it was quantity over quality. Americans were losing confidence on the assembly lines going uh, in the United States. Our cars were not working as well. All of a sudden, foreign automakers were able to come in. Who, who are you blaming for this? I blame American management. I blame the management of the big three because uh, they were the ones who managed the p- plants, and that's the way they ran them. Plants were like um, battlegrounds between management and labor, and quantity was all that counted. Mm -hmm. And cutting costs, cutting costs, cutting costs, and producing more quality. But there's something fascinating in your book. You know, you hear people all the time for years say, everything ran fine in my car until just after the warranty ran out. And you said that... That was no accident? It was no accident at all. The cars were built to last just through the warranty period. Uh, Warranty defects, they have two kinds of defects, warranty defects and expired defects. And all they were worried about was warranty defects. Now, in the 70s, the warranty ran for 12 months or 12,000 miles. Mm -hmm. They didn't care what happened in 12,500 miles and after that. So that was happening more often than not. Okay, let's talk about what's going on now because Chrysler and GM obviously are suffering the most. You worked for Ford. Ford seems to be doing better than the other two. Well, how do you explain that? Ford's doing a lot better. They got a real sharp guy, uh, Alan Mulally. If they would have gotten Mr. Mulally 30 years ago, they wouldn't be in the shape they were in. But he uh, has uh, straightened a lot of things out. He borrowed money anticipating this big downturn, mm-hmm. and he has changed a lot of things at Ford. They now make an excellent automobile. Mm-hmm. And so do you think we're going to see them getting in trouble at all? I do, uh, because their money, in my opinion, is going to run out before car sales turn around. They're very highly leveraged, and they have a lot of debt. I'm hoping that doesn't happen, but it may. Foreign cars are still being sold. You know, they're having problems in this economic downturn as well, but they are being sold now. Do you still see that, even though Chrysler and GM now are much smaller companies and, you know, have a linkage now to, say, Fiat? Will, will foreign cars still be be dominant? I believe they will because the uh, the auto companies are going to have to lure back the American car buyer. Mm-hmm. He has lost faith in Detroit. It took 30 years. It's going to take a long time to win his trust back. I have to ask you, what do you drive, American or foreign? I drive all American. I support the American economy, an American worker, and I always buy American. All right, Bob, thanks very much. And if you'd like more information about Bob and his book, mm-hmm. A Savage Factory, go to our website at abc7chicago.com. Very interesting look. Thank you so much. Thank you. And still ahead, when we 